Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, I'll see you in the next and welcome to this Let's Play of Zalasta. Last episode, we made our way into the keep here, sneaking in the back way in order to make our way into here. We did some fighting in the main courtyard, which was a bit of a rough fight, but we did get through it. Now... We did actually get a level up, so I'm going to do a rest here so that we can go ahead and level up. Yes, I do want to wait for the start of a new day because I would like to level up and get our people stronger. A little irritating that we have to wait to do that and use up more resources, but eh. So, let's see. First up is Anna. Gained hit points, proficiency bonus increased. Infernal Legacy, save DC increased to 13, spell attacks increased to plus 5, and sp spell slots. Paladin spell casting is gained, and you can attack one more time per combat turn when you use the attack or shove actions. Huzzah! And that's all we get, I guess. Sure. Alright, Garan! Gain hit points, proficiency bonus, cleric spell casting. Turn Undead Destroy. Channel Divinity to force undead creatures within six cells who can see you to flee unless they make successful wisdom saving throw. Undead creatures with a challenge rating of 0.5 or lower that fail are instead destroyed. Okay. That's not very high, but sure. Lasani! What do you got? Proficiency bonus, spard spellcasting. Bardic Inspiration and Font of Inspiration. Your Bardic Inspiration dies now at D8, and you regain all your expended uses of Bardic Inspiration when you finish a short or long rest. So I should use that more often. As for spells, I can get a Tier 3 spell. I can get Bestow Curse, which... Okay, disadvantage on things. Dispel magic could be useful. Fear, I don't like fear. Charms enemies to make them harmless until attacked, but also affects allies. No thanks. Stinking cloud. Okay, and tongues. Gain knowledge of all languages for one hour. Honestly, I feel like dispel magic would be good. I don't need to get rid of a spell, I don't think. So, ignore that, and I will take the spell magic so that she actually has it, just in case we need it. And Aaron. Sorcerer's spellcasting, that's the only change there. I am going to unlearn levitate. That seems less useful than I thought it might be. Misty step, however, could be use more useful. Then again, we also now can access fly. Counter spell is very good. We got someone with dispel magic. Haste would be good. Fireball. Okay. Tier 3 is when we're getting all of the good spells. Okay. Daylight is summon a globe of bright light. That's it. Uh. Let's see. Fireball is, of course, one of the best spells. Fly isn't a bad idea. But it is a concentration. You know what? I'm going to take Misty Step and Fireball. Haste will be useful later, but Fireball, yeah. That'll help out a lot. Alright, Anna, let's get your spells prepared. You have Tier 2 spells. You've got Branding Smite. Causes additional radiant damage and your target becomes luminous. It's a bonus action. And you got Scorching Ray. Let's see. Non-magical weapon becomes a plus one weapon for up to one hour. Protection from poison, lesser restoration, and aid. I haven't used Divine Favor yet. I probably should since we're dealing radiant damage and I'm pretty sure undead are likely weak to that. So I think I'll stick with this. And as for our cleric... Raise hope and vitality. What does that mean? Advantage on wisdom and death saving throws. Healing restores maximum possible hit points. Create food. 
I mean, it's something that could be useful. Daylight. Mass Healing Word is definitely very good to have. Dispel Magic. Protection from Energy. Remove Curse. Revivify. Call for Spirits to protect you. The character... That could be useful, I feel. I haven't used Prayer of Healing yet. I think it's a ritual spell. Okay. Get rid of Hold Person. Replaced with Mass Healing Word. I think that'll be fine. And I haven't really used Bane. Yeah, Acid Arrow, Flaming Sphere, Prayer of Healing. I should use Prayer of Healing more, but I don't think I'm going to keep Bane. And I'm going to replace it with... Oh my god, you actually get Fireball and Haste yourself. That's actually amazing. Spirit Guardians, I feel, could be useful. I think I'll give that a try. Okay, we'll go with that. Right, now, back to the keep entrance. I've already uh, tried looting all of these. And I know that there are some ghouls in here. Let me drop a save before we try finding these ghouls. Alright, let's give this a try. We're far enough away that you can go ahead and surprise them. So, go ahead and surprise him. Shoot that one. Oh, there's four of them! Okay, fair enough. Alright, you go ahead, get in there. I don't care if they see you, point is we're going to attack them. Take that attack, sure. Okay, you can mass healing word if you need to. You, I could throw out a fireball now, but I feel like it's way too early to bother with that. Ooh, you can bonus action Misty Step. That's interesting. Uh, go ahead, firebolt the ghoul. Nice. And you are going to head to here, and let's get a whole bunch of these attacks out. Oh wow, I can do extra damage. I can do uh, tier 2 for the uh, Divine Smite, but no. There we go. Oh, you were not surprised. Interesting. Alright, let's go with another shot at this tool. Okay, pretty nice. You might be able to finish him off with a smack. Nope, you missed. Well, you tried. Alright, Aaron, how about you finish him off with, uh, Firebolt? Not quite enough, but it did do damage. Don't bother with the Divine Smites right now. It's just a few ghouls will be fine. Eh, don't bother with a Hellish Rebuke right now. You know, I do have an idea. 
First off, finish off that ghoul. Still alive. Okay, there we go. I probably should have attacked that one. Well, he missed anyway, so no big deal. And you... I want to do Acid Splash on those two next to each other. Okay, one's dead. The other took actually a lot of damage. Damn. Okay, down goes that ghoul, and now finish off this one. I said finish him off. Son of a bitch. It's a little bit of damage, but and he's paralyzed, but you'll be fine. Shoot the ghoul. There we go. Ghouls are dealt with. And you no longer need to be cautious. Lasani, take your arrows back. Looks like we've got a few bags and things here to loot. Ah! The second of the bones. So there's one more set of bones somewhere. I don't know where. Coin, 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 coin. You can take that and another ration pouch. Okay, what is this? This could be our way in. Perfect. We climb down a wet, slippery stone shaft into water that's who knows how deep and hope there's a way out. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so that's the second of the options we could take. And what is this? That doesn't look right. It's a drain. What's wrong about that? Yes, but inside a building? Huh. Well, maybe the roof leaks. Maybe this was a stock shed. A drain could be handy for mucking out. That one's big enough for a cow to fall down. Doesn't make sense. Unless... I swear, if you say something clever... I never say anything that's not. But think about it. It's big enough to climb down. It's hidden in a building. And it's close to both the walls and the keep. Are you saying it's a secret entrance? Okay, so there's three possible ways in addition to the front door. Captain Fancy Pants can muck out, hit out his own damn horse. <sighs> okay. And we have a main entrance over here. the door. Oh, good. Just when I was thinking it would be too easy. Look at the top. What is that? Looks like a magical shield of some sort. Some sort? How many sorts are there? What Plenty. we're looking for is up there. You sure? It's obvious. The best loot gets the best protection. Usually. All right, and we need to find another way in. Can't get in that way. Okay, so we've got three possible entrances. How about we start with this one over here? Oh, what the? Where the hell did you come from? You were not there a minute ago. You were very much not there a minute ago. Okay, 
guess we're going to be taking care of a couple of these. Definitely an opportunity attacks. Yeah, go ahead and, and no, don't hellish rebuke the ghoul. Surprisingly, that one survived. Also, Acid Splash is surprisingly good on, on these guys. Okay, hello, you guys are coming from the other direction. Where did you come from? You ghouls were not here before. Okay, Lasani is no longer paralyzed. But I think a Cure Wounds would be good cast on Anna. Well, that definitely did something. Go ahead and give her a Bardic Inspiration to get her to break free. You! Undead creatures within six cells of you to flee. Challenge rating of 0.5. I don't know their challenge rating. Any spells that would be worth it? Spirit Guardians is something I can cast in the future. So no, just smack this one dead. God damn it! And... Yeah, go ahead, spend the die. Alright, go ahead, cast Acid Splash again. Oh, very nice! You killed those two! Now fall back. And here come the rest. And is in a lot of trouble. <sighs> and uh, Anna went down. Okay, uh, definitely cast a next level healing spell. You know what? I don't care about dispel magic. Tier 3. That definitely helps. You are gonna go ahead and smack one of these. Okay, Anna, your turn. Any spells I want to try? Oh, you can do darkness. Interesting. You could burn a couple of them. You'd need to move back, but to get more than two, but. I mean, go ahead. Very nice. And you get a free attack. One damage. Wonderful. You... You can also do a Burning Hands. In fact, one closer. Burn them all. Two of them died. Perfect. Ah! Ow. Paralyzed again. Bloody hell. Go with a tier two casting on Anna.
Almost. You are going to firebolt this one. Actually, well, okay, that worked. I was going to say you could have done Shocking Blast and it would have been fine. Also, hello, Sarah and Yoshi. But, I mean, this is fine for now. Okay, shoot that ghoul. A crit? Okay, very nice. Smack it. And we got him. Okay. Like I said, those ghouls should not have been there. I don't know where they came from. And I cannot move at all. Come on, make your con save already. There we go, jeez. Okay. You, use some of your, uh, lay on hands on yourself. There, much better. Now, as I was saying, I don't know where each of these are gonna go, but we'll need to try each of them. Let's at least start with this one. I'm actually gonna drop a save first, and then we'll see where each of these end up going to. Oh, it actually says what's in each of these. Well, if we've investigated them already. Okay, nothing of note there. I do wonder. No, I can't get back over here. Good to know. Alright then, in that case, let me drop a save. Now, let's see what's down this one. I mean, I'm probably going to try each to see where we end up for each of these locations. Unless we can go back and forth. Because I would very much like to see what is in each of these entrances and which might be the best option. Tell me we're not going back in there. Okay, so I can go back out. I have no idea what that did just now. Ooh, crafting manual, brimstone fang, poison arrow, and another scroll of revivify. Well, let's go ahead and learn this. Don't have anywhere near enough to make that. Plus, nobody is proficient in smith's tools. Which is annoying. Okay, change the quest to this one. So, that's the doorway in. Still don't know what exactly that did. So, this is a basement entrance and there's a locked door. So if we go out this way, we'll probably be able to take a different entrance. And I'd like to see all of the entrances, because then I can all put it together and figure out which is the best idea. Okay. Wait, why am I back here? What about this one? Does this take us to the same location? Does it not matter we always end up in the same spot? Because if so, I mean, that's fine too. We just didn't need to go back and get attacked by ghouls there. Yeah, it seems like it always ends up with putting us in the same location. It's also very dark in here, I have to say. You know what? Light the torches, please. Alright, 
I mean, I may as well. There we go. Now I can see. Oh, that switch opened another way into here. Now I understand. And with how dark it is in here, hmm. I think one of us should cast light. Yeah, but on who? If I remember right, Garan has dark vision. Actually. You know what? I am going to give this to you. And Garan can have the light on cast on him. There we go. And now Garan has light, so he'll be able to see the people he's trying to smack. I think this works. Meanwhile, everyone else can see in darkness normally, so that'll be fine. Yeah, you have dark vision, you have dark vision, you don't, but you have the light, and you have the dark vision ring. I think that works out. All right. And with that, I am going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll start investigating this, uh, this castle and see what we can find. Till then, I am Trustic44, also known as Fly. That is Anna, Garan, Lasani, and, er and Aaron. This has been a Let's Play of Salasta, and I shall see you all next time.